every creature that you can name living down in the deep dark woods from the tiniest rabbit the biggest hog they're all living like they should bucks and does are what we call deer and their babies are called fawns hogs and boys are wild pigs they can eat all day long spiders that have eight long arms snakes and worms with none they each have their own special child can't wait to name each and every one singing here we go let's get to know all of the forest animals everybody say game that's the name of all the tasty animals and every creature that i see has a backstrap waiting just for me so let's hunt all the forest animals Ooh, yeah, yeah. forest animals what it's cold Shut up. Gotta get that fire going. Keep these goats warm. First cold snap. I don't know what it is. Feels good though. Shoot your bow first thing in the morning on them early cold snaps. Get used to them sore, tired muscles pulling that bow back. My muscles ain't sore and tired because I've been up working out like a good boy. What you been doing? Let's go. Only one good use for these super retarded trees made of concrete, hackberry or sugarberry, whatever you want to call them. They are the most dense wood in the world. Chainsaw won't hardly even cut them. But you can let them dry out for a year or two or seven. Then you can throw it on top of your fire right there and it will last till tonight. You girl. No, you do not action around here, please. You got some grass?
cut all that stuff all the way across the back so I can... It's like they got their own little Christmas tree. Take 943. <laughs> I had to dig out and reset my pond. That was a little embarrassing when I went back to out the video. So, so lazily done. So it was too slanted. I wanted it kind of slanted to make sure one of the goats jumped in and be fine, but they've had no problem with it. And we already were up to like four bullfrogs in here, but I had to catch and release. And one I did not catch. And then one of these thunderhawks caught it and ate the frog. I think I have much more room, much more water, and uh, the ducks will appreciate it whenever they come here. When do they fly in? Come on, ducks, aren't they supposed to be flying south? I was shooting here first. I don't know what day it is when you hear that north wind coming in. If you ain't got the itch to start shooting your bow now, you better check your pulse. Because it is that time. Shh. I see it there. Oh. Oh. I think he died. Right in the lower third, right behind the old shoulder. These things that you don't know. You gotta keep it up at the right angle. That's all I like get. Slip that out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Because we're trying to put one of these right into Jesus
hours later. It's about caught on fire now. I just threw some more limbs in there so it blazed back up, but it was mostly just smoking. That wood sucks. Look who finally made it home. Big Blanca. Finally we can get some work done around here. What you're witnessing is a savage fight to the death between a wild boar and a Great Dane. Oh, where are you going? So this is over here off the the unused pad on the other half of our property. We have this natural washout forming here that is, it's got about four feet of water down the bottom of it now. It's getting really deep. It feeds in all from these, these hills that all kind of converge onto our property. And I cut all around this edge back here. There's super bedding back up against this wood line. And that's what we're leaving alone. And we're gonna plant food all out in this pad out here. So we're gonna have lots of cover and bedding. And then we got food in this whole half of the property. Nobody comes. They come a couple times a week to check the gauges and it's a guy in a truck and the deer don't even pay him any attention. But this was hog dominated over here. We're kind of turning it back into deer friendly area. All right, let's go baby. Look on the All right. It's December. It's almost burnt all the way down. <laughs>